You've heard it all before. Waterworld comes with a price tag of an estimated $172 million, making it the most expensive movie ever made. By now, you've probably also heard of the problems on the set. Director Kevin Reynolds and star Kevin Costner had a big disagreement, and Reynolds left the project before editing began. A big part of the set sank in the waters off the coast of Hawaii, and reports said Waterworld was on its way to a meltdown. Now Costner is striking back, saying the early reports on the movie were unfair to everyone. Because I love movies, I feel really bad. I feel really bad that that, 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 ha that happens, because I, I love to make them and I love to go to them. And I don't like it when somebody kind of spoils it for me and, and spoils it in a way that's not correct. I mean, everybody's entitled to opinion, but, you know, you, you know I make movies for people, not for, uh, for um, intellectuals who talk about something they don't really even know about. Costner is certainly one of Hollywood's biggest stars, but his last three films have flopped at the box office. Costner told us he has no regrets about most of his decisions concerning his career. I've believed in all the movies I've ever made. I still believe in them. I love, love them. They're, they're all flawed a little bit, but they all represent the best of what I think movies can be about. It is our destiny! Actor Dennis Hopper, who plays the bad guy in the film, says he is more than annoyed at some of the negative stories written about Waterworld. I find it really, uh, really disgusting, the kind of publicity that this film has gotten, only about how much it's costing. Nothing about, because no one's seen the film, nothing about what the film is about or the artistic uh, worth of the film. Costner not only put his heart and soul in the film, when production costs skyrocketed, he put some of his own money where his mouth is. And now, just before the release of the movie, Costner is promising his fans a water world was made for them. Well, I care about those who get the babysitters, you know, those who take their girlfriends or sweethearts, and Waterworld takes care of them. Waterworld opens in theaters tomorrow. Lisa Petrillo, Channel 10, Eyewitness News.